JAXA's sample mission from asteroid Itokawa from the last decade returned mixed results. It did, however, teach engineers and designers many lessons about the difficulties of collecting samples from asteroids. Their second attempt is currently underway. Hayabusa 2 is coasting towards another asteroid, Ryugu, and should reach its destination in the middle of next year. This new and improved robot has several new capabilities built in. They include ion engines, navigation and attitude control systems, and an explosive device to dig into the asteroid and return material from within it. Also on board are a probe and three miniature rovers. A secondary probe launched with Hayabusa called Procyon had an engine malfunction and will not complete its mission. NASA's attempt at an asteroid sample return is also underway. OSIRIS-REx was launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station's Space Launch Complex 41 and is on its way to intercept the near-Earth object Bennu. Two, one, and liftoff of OSIRIS-REx, its seven-year mission to boldly go to the asteroid Bennu and back. Bennu is a B-type asteroid of approximately 500 meters diameter. It completes an orbit around the Sun every 1.2 years, and every six years it comes very close to Earth. These close encounters mean there is a high probability of Bennu's impacting Earth in the late 22nd century. Bennu's size, primitive composition, and potentially hazardous orbit make it the ideal OSIRIS-REx target asteroid. It will first survey the asteroid to find an ideal touchdown site. Understanding the shape of asteroid Bennu is going to be absolutely fundamental to understanding the geology and putting it in context. The other reason you really need to understand the topography extremely well is that when we're going in to take a sample, it's a very, very fine measurement. And so if you're coming in, you've got the sampling head at the end of this arm that has to come in perfectly square to the surface. If you don't understand shape, sort of at a 30 centimeter scale, you're not gonna be able to collect a sample. Osiris-Rex touch down for only a moment to retrieve a surface sample of the asteroid, then return to Earth to deposit the sample return capsule somewhere in Utah in 2023.
a reliable workhorse, operating long past its planned lifetime. But its mission will eventually come to an end. Engineers estimate it will move into too much sunlight to function. However, the team is eyeing a new space telescope, one with a little more muscle. The Near-Earth Object Camera, NEOCAM, is specifically designed to hunt asteroids. The proposal has been funded for further study by NASA.